My name is Duncan. This is my camper kitchen. And today we are going to make coffee using the OXO Good Grips pour over coffee maker with water tank. To get started, I'm going to go ahead and pull out a filter. With the filter, you're going to want to fold along these creases here so that the filter doesn't have to fight to sit into the pour over cone. Let's come over here. Okay. So we're going to use the water out of this, my one gallon big old water jug because the water that goes into the camper sits in my freshwater holding tank for however long and it's hard to say how clean that water is coming through the system so instead I use separate freshly filtered water out of this jug instead of using water from my sink so I suppose to get this started, I'm going to put water into this pot. I would recommend pouring more water than you think you're going to need for the cup of coffee. Um, keep in mind some of it's going to evaporate, as well as you're going to need some of this hot water to rinse out your filter paper. So I usually fill the pot about halfway. Then once that's filled, I will spark off the propane and let it come to a boil. So just to go ahead and show you while this is coming up to a boil, this is the OXO Good Grips. I don't actually know if you can see that. Yeah, this is the OXO Good Grips um, pour over coffee cone. It has a little ring on the bottom that allows for it to sit on top of pretty much any mug. Then to set it up, I take my filter folded the edges and pop it out and then you stick it into the cone like such okay so our water has now reached a boil and I'm going to turn the heat down to low with the cone and the filter that I've set up I take the lid off, and we're just going to dump a little bit of boiling water into the filter, let it drain right through. Ooh, that's one. Okay. While that's draining, I'm going to break out my Hario conical burr style coffee grinder. Uh, I will link this in the description of the video as well as a link to uh, the OXO pour over. Take my coffee scoop. Today I'm doing the Fisherman's Blend from Cutters Point Coffee Company. They are the local coffee roaster. We're going to go one, two, and three, plus an extra little scoop for good luck, because I like strong coffee. Alright, attach the handle. Okay. 
you'll know that you're done when you get to a point where you don't hear it grinding around. So like that. It's just spinning in there freely now, which means that all of the beans that were in the hopper have now been ground and are down in the bottom. So I take the handle off, ink off, and go ahead and we'll dump in the coffee grounds. maker dump the hot water back out of your your mug your mug is now preheated which is a nice thing because you don't want your mug to suck the heat out of your your freshly brewed coffee at this point I'm going to go ahead and turn off the burner my water is simmering so what I do is I pour a little bit in and then I pick up the uh, the water tank and I like to swirl it around just a little bit we're just at this point we're doing what's known as a bloom I like to go ahead and get all my coffee grounds moist oh that's hot it allows for the uh, the CO2 that is trapped inside of those coffee grounds to basically get cooked out of the bean and rise up and out, giving less of the, the nasty flavors that are associated with the CO2 being trapped in your coffee. Uh, once that has been sitting for about 15, 20, 30 seconds, I take my boiling hot water and I pour it into the water holder up to the 10 ounce mark. And then I put the lid back on. OXO says that you can just kind of leave this now and it will brew you a cup of coffee. Personally, I don't really think that it works the best that way. So I like to pick it up and use the water tank in a similar fashion to like one of those gooseneck kettles that people use for making pour over coffee. Um, I think that it gives a fairly nice even distribution of water through the coffee grounds and it, like it pre-measures out how much liquid you need. So it makes it fairly simple uh, for making pour over coffee. And now that I'm basically down to the bottom of the, the water reservoir, I stick it back on top and just let it go ahead and drip on through the rest of the way. You can see we are now out of water in the reservoir. We have maybe a second or two left in the drip. You can see it's pouring out some beautiful coffee. Our cup of coffee is now done brewing. Pick up the brewer, finish its drip, set it right on top of the lid, and you have a delicious cup of coffee ready to drink. And let's go ahead and take the first sip. Yep, bitter, sweet, barely acidic at all. This is good. I'm going to take it with me. Thanks for stopping by Duncan's Camper Kitchen. I had fun. I hope you did too. And I'll see you next video.